Hey kids, it's Auntie Kimmy. Finally found a minute to catch my breath, so I thought I'd come on here and tell you that story I mentioned about how me and the great Miss Reba McIntyre developed our special bond. Uh, so I've been a huge fan of her music for like all my life. And my honey bought me tickets to her concert one time uh, in Raleigh at the uh, big arena down in Raleigh. And uh, we were gonna go see Reba McIntyre, The Singer's Diary. I was thrilled, I was over the moon. So on the way up there, I tell my husband, I'm like, sweetheart, me and Reba, we're gonna have a moment tonight. He's like, babe, this ain't like the ice capades where I told you that my friend that works up there might could get you backstage to see the figure skaters. This is Reba McIntyre. He ain't gonna be able to get you backstage to see me, Reba McIntyre. I said, sweetheart, I love you, but I didn't ask you for no help. Me and Miss Reba, we're gonna have a moment tonight. He's like, okay. I said, I'm gonna meet her. He said, okay. So I'm sitting there and I'm watching the concert and I'm enjoying every minute of it. And God love my non-country music loving husband who was there with me. And I have never seen anybody enjoy a concert like this, but he did because he pretty much watched me all night and enjoyed me enjoying it. Sidetrack. So we're sitting there, we're listening. Now I would never interrupt Miss Reba McIntyre while she was singing or speaking. But I knew at some point she was going to stop and take a sip of that water on the stool beside her, and she did. And when she did, I leaned back and I hollered out from way up yonder in the cheap poor people seats to way down there, I love you, Reba. And y'all, she was like this. She was like, well, thank you, darling. I told you. I told my husband. I was like, see, I told you. I spoke. She spoke back. That's a conversation. We've had a conversation. Me and Miss Reba, we're like this. Bye, kids. Have a good day.